Learning loss is one of the top concerns for educators and students during 2020. It occurs when students have a significant time between lessons. It's usually experienced by kids who are away for illness or after a summer break. But the pandemic meant learning loss for millions of Canadian students. Grade 12 student Sophia Jaffe knew, decided that she knew how to tackle this problem and she created her own website that is now being used by students all around the world. She's joining this morning to share about eLearn.FYI. Nice to meet you. Good morning. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you? I am doing great and I'm fascinated to learn more about this process. So your school, like many in Canada, closed in March and then you transitioned to online learning. How did that go yes, for you back you in March? It was really difficult and it was really stressful knowing that right after March break, we were jumping into this totally new online learning system, which was so different than in-class instruction. And I found that staring at a screen all day, concentrating was really, really difficult for me. And also the lack of social interaction with my teachers and my friends made learning all that much harder. So the whole experience itself, I really did work hard to make sure that I was learning to the best of my ability and my teachers did as well and so did my peers but it was a very difficult experience and I know that it was very difficult for everyone else too and that's what led me to create eLearn FYI. Yeah let's talk a bit about this I want to show people some pictures of what the site looks like when they go on it's broken into yeah. grade categories from kindergarten all the yes. way to grade 12 uh, it then breaks everything down by subjects uh, which makes it really easy to find what you're looking for and then you click on those right. links they take you to either apps or websites that help guide you through that subject. So how does yes. this help with learning loss that's being suffered during the pandemic delays? So the whole idea about learning loss is that when you don't have proper online instruction and you're not learning things properly online, it's really hard to digest a concept and to be able to understand it and apply it. And I was happy to see that McKinsey and Company released a very important report on June 1st, 2020, which actually put this learning loss into numbers. And you can find that report linked on my eLearn FYI site. And the learning loss numbers are truly scary. So the way that this can stop learning loss is that if you have very loose instruction from your online class, wherever you're doing it in school, then you can have eLearn.FYI to pick and choose so many different sites. And you can create your own learning profile, which is the whole beauty of eLearn, is that you can pick math from here and literacy from here and geography from here and create your own learning profile to really help cater to all of your educational needs. So that's the way that it can really reduce learning loss. It is a great support for students and for teachers. You know, a lot of teachers have taught a certain way for, you know, a decade or more. And then to have to transition all of that online was really difficult for a lot of people. Uh, right now, for you have sure. more than 2,000 visitors to the site. They, they represent 51 different countries. What kind of resources yeah. are available to ensure that there's a wide range of diverse learning? Yeah, so what I also wanted to include was I wanted to stray away from the classic textbook approach of learning. You know, you see a math concept and you see some examples and then you're told, okay, let's do the examples in the textbook. But let's say you're a visual learner like myself. I want to look at YouTube videos. So for example, there's this really, really cool YouTube channel called Deep Look. And I actually wanted to include a lot of YouTube channels in my site because I know a lot of students like myself are visual learners and it's really helpful to have a video to look at to really digest a concept. So the channel Deep Look is a science video series that explores big science topics on a really, really small scale. And they use macro photography and microscopic in 4K resolution cool. to see science up close, which is really, really cool. So that's just one example. And there's so many different examples of just these little Easter eggs, I guess you could call <laughs> it, of these really interesting sites that just help you learn very hard material in such a fun, bubbly way. Sophia, I love when students become teachers, which is exactly what you've done for a lot of people. Uh, and you are a grade 12 student, so I'm going to let you go to class. Thanks so much, though, for coming on your morning today. Thank you so much for having me.